Well, that's a problem. You didn't make the hole the right size. You can't put a stupid screw in that damn thing. The hole's not square. You see, it looks like it's teardrop shape instead of an oval slot like it's supposed to be. We can actually do something. Wonderful. Well, these are the parts that I bought from Teacher Machine, everyone. They yeah, only sell the best. Yeah. <laughs> Might not be too late to take it back. No, it is. <laughs> okay, so this should go through here so it has the right size, which it isn't. So we're going to take our screw with us. And go through it. Oh, yeah. He might be in his way. But I think. <laughs> 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 it doesn't fit. <laughs> How does it not fit in your vise? There's a surface plate in the way. I need a. Well, what's that noise? Some aluminum or something. Piece of aluminum. Oh, just need to sit in the ass. Uh, Did you walk into something over there? There you go, that's a piece of aluminum. That'll work. Screw fits in a hole now. Amazing how that works. Them Taiwanese don't have any good, a real precision product. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Ooh, elotes. No, that's, that's ice cream, man. It is? You want one? No, I'm good. Tetra, you want an ice cream? Nope. Tetra doesn't eat ice cream. He only eats cheese pizza. No, I'm good actually. Walker. I was I was thinking about it. Walker's too cheap. No, I'm not. I got. So I went over the thickness of the black mark a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did I put on there? I forget how much I put a little bit. But... A couple thou. A smidge. Smidge. So I can go all the way against the edge now. See. So I can put it on the, on the plate over there and see if it'll actually do it in the bike. Alright. This is a pop progress. Maybe. Yeah, this time I won't get in the way. Assuming this is a, you know, the problem is. More than likely it's probably that thing over there called the shaft. My shaft's never a problem. Yeah. That motor that you did for Keith, Keith says that it's like money. First kick every time. He lies a lot. Oh. Wow. It sounded retarded for a second. It was.
Somebody stole my rag. It's in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it isn't. I'm gonna check the pocket. It's right over here, though. Oh, we're back doing some other stuff over here. Fit and fit. I'm gonna put down deeper. Or for the center more. Yeah, it fits cleanly now. So now I can move all the way. I don't see any further engagement here though. Just enough to really do the job I need or not. It moves the whole pattern, but it doesn't necessarily fix the problem. The spacing is dictated by this, not the plate. The plate just times where it happens. So I think this together easier now. Tighten it down, we're definitely right on the center of the slot, it looks like now. Oh, yeah, it looks like much better. Looks like it's right on the money this time. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's going to be enough to make it work. Okay. Next thing is, how much did we actually grind off of this thing last time? Much of anything to tell. At most, maybe two or three fell. So give it a little, little gusto, a little bit more. Shear off the little corner. Yeah, but I ground it at an angle. Yeah, see, I'm grounded at an angle. If you're straight. We're grounded at an angle like that, which should allow it to pop in a lot easier. It's not flat, so effectively that's probably about 10 to 15 thou movement I did on it. So that should be enough you would think. If I radius it a little bit. I already just put chamfered at edge a little bit. <clears throat> that might help us a little bit more. All these little changes are adding up to be quite a bit, quite a bit bigger.
All right, let's so for the best. See, I just got a big chamfer on it now. Wait, pull it back. There you go. Okay. Just take off any sharpness that might have on it. Just I can radius with this a little bit. You don't think that like that the plug the plunger is like it's, I don't know maybe that's not some... tight in the shell. I don't know. <clears throat> no, it's not tight. It's it's a little too nice now. It's just the timing of everything's a little something's a little off. You know this bushing here is sticking up, mm -hmm. which could be causing. Something going on with that. So I'm going to go ahead and push that down on the press to get it flush where it's supposed to be. So now that's flush, lights off again. Still off. So this was sticking up on this surface and recessed on this side, so now it's flush on both sides. Make sure it fits over here still. Still fits on this nicely. Okay, try it again. Remember we up here now? Six. I don't know. Last track after five? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. So the one I've been working on is not the... Which one was it? Which one was this side here? Definitely nice and free inside of that. There's no binding on that part. I mean, if anyone asks, this is uh, custom chrome. <laughs> Ratchet lid, so. <laughs> there you go. Just in case. Just in case. also probably about 12 years ago too. If that was a good chrome on it. Chrome might be good but the, um, the parts aren't. Yeah. So I like it doesn't pop all the way down like it's supposed to. See it should go all the way down. I don't know why it doesn't go all the way down. It should just pop straight down. I wonder if it's binding on the. No, I don't want to do one. It shouldn't be that. You got the engagement, disengagement angles in there, but mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that. See, these are a little freely. No, we're not even close to it. We're 16th away on this side. 
Feels nice and free. Let's just be just binding up over here in the spring, I guess. I don't know. There it goes. Just a super easy part to disassemble, you know. Oh yeah. Another eight screws for a couple light springs. A couple light springs. No big deal. Yeah. Tight surfaces. Yeah, tight surfaces. <laughs> Next problem. Loss might not be enough to let the screws go in there. Force the gasket. Hello? Yeah? Piece of crap. Yeah, good job. Stay away. Alright? Okay, bye. HSR 40 suck. HSR 40? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's a McKinney that you made back in the uh, 80s. Oh. Piece of crap. Someone want to give him one. Junk. Don't take it. There's one on the shelf if you want one. They're probably alright for a stock sportster, but easy to three. Where that came from? Nothing else, so. Somebody forgot to uh, line the gaskets up when they uh, put this all together. Who would that even be? That couldn't be Tetra, right? Somebody probably had only like four hours of sleep last night. I think that guy. You know, you always see you have all these like, really bad sleep. Yeah? I sleep uh, acne. Yeah. Well, every time I leave work, I'm not tired enough because I've only worked 20 hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't believe you at all. I see you on the here on the internet machine for half that time. That's not work. That's all right. Bidding, out? screaming that you got outbid and then bidding again. That's it. All you hear is, motherfucker. No. And then you, and then, and then the, that's how, that's how the computer gets punched. That does happen. No, who, I don't punch it. Who punched the computer? He's physically abusive to his computer. I am not. I have backhanded more than once. I also palm it. And I then he wonders why it overheats and burns it, up and I he loses palm. half his hard drive. I do palm it every now and then. That, that's how I fix it when it doesn't work right. Good old palming fixes a lot of things, you know what I mean? Yeah, it does. Mrs. Palmer and her five daughters. Okay, we were right at the very limit of these screws going back in. We have moved the plate so far. Yep. Because it needed it. So that's why I had to do an adjustment there to get the gasket over the lungs. Now you gotta torque it down. You can torque it down, brother. Now the screw might not be all the way over though. Remember I moved it over? Yeah. Might not be over now. Yep, not even close. It's all the way to the other side. So, why is that different? This goes really, really tight for some reason. That's the screws causing the problem there. Yeah, none of these screws are going to let me go 
let the plate go where it needs to go to. Everyone is the problem. So I can only go back to center. Screw hole right here. See, I won't let it go any further. Hmm. You don't want to go further. So every time I put these screws back in, it rejects back to be an offset slightly. So the square on the shaft is not ground at the right angle. The shaft is a problem. The shaft, I think, is most all our problems right now. <clears throat> so it's keeping me from doing anything. So now I have to go and slot every one of these damn holes out. About 50,000. At least 30,000. To get to go where I need to go. Wonderful. Yeah. So every time I put it back in, it was just cocking it back to where it's offset was at, the misalignment. But, I mean, now you've grounded that, those plungers out a little bit more, and you're getting more play on it every time you did it. Yeah, but I'm losing all my offset by it. It's screwing on me. See everyone these holes a half a hole off. See? That's how far this this part's made it on. This is the problem. This fucking shell. This is the problem. Everything else I'm doing is to correct for this. This is made wrong. Causing all these problems. That piece right there. No. So you can continue screwing around, trying to make everything fixed around this piece of crap. Or, we'll get this piece of crap out of here and start over. Which I think is the wild answer, is to get rid of this piece of crap. Now, was this a uh, genuine Harley one we put in here, or just the one that came with it? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Well, we had to take, because this had, this had the... Um... We changed the gear set, but I don't think we changed the shaft. I don't think we changed the, the, uh, the shaft either. I wouldn't use the old original shaft off the old cover. Because I don't want to keep slotting everything out. These things are really slotted out. Three years of an inch. we got to go another 50,000 minimum. Mm -hmm. So you want me to see if I can find that shaft? We need to find the other lid. Which will give us all the mechanism here. This will give us all the pieces to put right back on. We'll keep this part because it's chrome and this. But we just put all hardly guts in the damn thing and get it to work. Because right now I'm just chasing my tail trying to fix it. I think the problem is this shaft is made wrong. Everything about this shaft. Is but the, I had FX, all, all FX stuff. I mean, F, the shaft FL. Is the same. The shaft's going to be the same? Yeah, the gear set's different, but the shaft's the same. But And the ship, the shifting drum, this part? This is all the same. They just change the gear set. The gear and the drum is different. But uh, like I said, I think that's where our problem is going to be. We can try putting on the Harley pieces over here. Maybe this stuff's all made wrong. I don't know. 
Well, I have to find a used one of those, and I can tell by finding one of those. That might fix it. Do you have one? I get the whole damn lid. <clears throat> it's definitely the drum. Is that right? The shafty drum bit. I have no idea. Here's a Harley one. Genuine Harley Davidson. Oh yeah, that's way different. So you put the center of this hole to where we're in the center of the slots. So we have full movement of the slot. But we're still going to be half a hole off. Yeah, we're still going to be timed way over here. So we got the same problem coming in. And to be lined up, we're right on. We're right at the very extreme. See, we're right. The problem is this is wrong. This isn't doing it. This is the problem. That shaft is made wrong. 100%. It's clocked about 15, 20 degrees in the wrong spot. Probably 15 degrees off. And my guess is the location of the damn slot is off, which is on that one shift. That's why it's causing the blinding. Mm -hmm. so still, everything's made wrong. So I'm going to take this apart and do something about this shaft because this, this is our problem. All right. We can dick around all day trying to fix this thing, but that's what the problem is. I'm tired of screwing around with a bad part. Just fix the bad part and everything else will work. So why don't you go, go home and try it out? You want me to go look for that shaft? Yeah, go home, go home grab me the old cover. I can use the old one. Try to use it. Alright, I'll be right back. Go ahead and take this all apart. And